Like a lot of bands, the Rascals had a timeline. They also had reunions, but during their timeline, you always wonder how some bands last a year, six months, and sometimes a day. It just doesn't work out. But how they kept it together. Here's Felix Cavalieri. The new book is Felix Cavalieri, Memoir of a Rascal. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick it up. And if you want to see the long version of this video, you can see the entire thing via the link in the description of this video. I mean, how do you keep it? And I know it doesn't last forever. It certainly didn't with the Beatles or anybody else, but like with, with uh, Gene, Eddie and, and, and Dino, how do you keep the machine going with the, no matter how you split it, they're all different personalities. Everyone's from a different planet kind of thing. And how did you manage from yourself personally? How did you manage that? Well, unfortunately, I don't think I managed it very well because we couldn't keep it together. You know, that that's the tragedy, you know, like, you know, wh when I put the group together, uh, basically, my premise was to get four individuals who were really powerful. And in, in our case, at least three of us were leaders of our own bands prior to joining the Rascals. So we had you know, basically four front men, as far as I was concerned. You know, when you saw the Rascals, you saw four really talented people that, you know, together made a, a unique sound. However, it's like having four alpha males in your kennel, you know. Now, someone has to control them. It, it can't really be done from within the group. It has to be done by your management. Your management, theoretically, is older than you, theoretically, is more experienced than you, you got to control the troops. You got to control the boys and the girls and mostly the girls, you know. But anyway, it, it, we didn't we didn't have that. Yeah. Did, well, who has been who was the most challenging for you in the, in the group as far as different di, different uh, uh, planets uh, as far as personality wise? Well, you know, I mean, uh, Eddie probably was the, you know, the most challenging because, you know, I, I mean, he he um, he left. You know, he quit, you know, uh, more than once. And, you know, quitting is not just a physical thing. It's a mental thing as well. When you quit and you leave, you know, uh, you know, I, I've said it many times. You have four wheels on a car. If one decides not to go, oh, boy, you got a problem, my man. You, you know, yeah, it was tough. You know, I mean, everybody had their quirks. I mean, obviously, you know, we're human beings and, you know, we're, we have faults. But. There's there's a ethic, uh, a work ethic, and there's also like a group ethic, and and that's 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 what really was violated. And you know, I say that with all due respect, you know, all for one, one for all. There's no, uh, there's no I in group. Yeah. yeah. Remember, the new book from Felix Cavalieri is Memoir of a Rascal, available now. There'll be links in the description where you can pick it up. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We'd appreciate that. Like them as well. We also like that. And share them in the appropriate groups on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you like. This is John Bowden. This is Rock History Book.